What is going on, Collectives? It's your girl, Janique with A, and I'm back with another video for you guys. So, good news, good news. I am relaunching, all right, my candle line, all right? And it's going to be so new. It's going to be so vibrant. But most of all, it's going to be very powerful when manifesting, all right? Look out for that for April 23rd. There's going to be a huge relaunch for my site and my brand, and I'm so excited. New beginnings for new airy season, so damn. Let's get into your reading and see what the spirit wants you to know and how can I be used and protected to um, be a clear channel for you guys. Wow, creative power. You guys, just like me, you guys are in your mode. You guys are creative right now. You guys are tapping into some type of project that you've been working on, but the divine is all over it. You, you have been given some type of source or a resource to kind of like enhance some type of creative ability, all right? I feel like with this three right here, it's something came full circle and you are shining right now, all right? So there's some type of creative power you have within yourself, collectors, where you are tapping into. I feel like your third eye is really, really open right now. I feel like there is a, a, a connection between you and source, like a... a uh, a straight connection right now between you and source. I feel like you are being divinely guided in everything that you create right now. Okay? Everything. Oh my gosh, silent wisdom. Everywhere you go, okay, collectives, you make a mark. All right? You could be part of the Lyrans, all right, Sekhmet, but you could be embarrassed or something wrong with your nose. You could have had um, a little bit of insecurities with your nose, but where you going? It, your presence is being felt everywhere you go. You don't see those big pores. You live it. You leave a huge imprint on people's lives or wherever you go, just based off of your creativity. It's your spark. It's your ability to create anything out of nothing. You hold some type of silent wisdom collectives, where you're able to see you're connected. There's a straight connection between you and Source. It's like you're learning for so much past life shit. You're remembering who you are. You're remembering how powerful you are and where you're going. This is amazing energy, guys. Amazing energy. All right, let's tap into some more. You guys are working on something right now where you're receiving the knowledge from like a higher source all right whatever you do you're being guided and you're receiving different type of downloads from a higher source all right and it's creative it, this creative project that you're working on it requires you to work in silence all right it requires you to be still in your mind so that way your presence all right thank you spirit your presence is felt silently all right you don't have to do too much all right balance you've learned how to balance out your light and your dark you're understanding that without dark there's no light and without light there's no dark you know you got to go through the dark to see the light and vice versa you are completely balanced whoever i'm speaking with and something that you are working on whatever creative project that you are silently working on is gonna leave a legacy and it's getting you out of a dark time. It's getting you out of the dark night of the soul. Because whatever project you're working on collective, it allows you to work in silence. All right? You can work from home. Um, This could be just like a, a hobby. But it's creating change for you. Because you're balancing out your transmuting. So say if you get angry, you create you create out of that anger. You know what I'm saying? And you're learning how to use your abilities. You're learning how to be different. You're learning how to be individual. All right? So this is great. Whatever you're doing is going to bring you out of some type of dark time, some type of financial crisis. All right? If you guys have been going through, like, a lot of financial burdens, whatever you're creating, it is a part of your destiny. And it's going to get you out of whatever it is that you're going through right now. So continue. You're being watched. Intensification. This energy is intensifying. So some of you guys are launching. You see how I'm launching something? For some of you guys, you are starting that channel. 
For others of you guys, you're going in that relationship. For others of you guys, you're leaving that relationship. But whatever you do, the energy is intensifying because you're gaining that power from source. Wow. Oh my gosh. Prosperity. It's like you hit a gold mine collective. If it's a relationship, you hit a gold mine. If it's you leaving out a relationship, you hit a gold mine with that. Is if you start a new project, you hit a gold mine. Whatever it is that you're about to launch or you're getting into, you hit a gold mine. Prosperity is around you right now. Whatever project that this is. Okay? Whatever project that this is. It surrounds wealth. Gold. Luxury. And the energy is intensifying because I feel like you're right at that peak where... You're ready to show the world. You're ready to make that change. You're ready to go full in. It's like you're ready. But whatever it is, prosperity is all around it. You hit a gold mine with this, y'all. Like a gold mine. A fire sign. So this could be a fire sign. Or this is something that y'all fucking passionate about. All right? This is something that every time somebody told you not to do it, you, you felt a pull into it. And because you made that commitment and followed source, oh my gosh, y'all don't know what y'all did. Look, you showed respect, all right? I feel like you gained respect because of your manifestations. I feel like you are so divinely protected. This is a pentacle. This is your money. This is everything you materializing on earth. And I feel like you gained some type of respect from the divine to where you're tapping into some type of silent wisdom. Okay, where you work in silence or it requires you to work in silence. All right. And it's even if you do magic, even if you do something with spirituality, you're like manifesting abundance because you like show respect to like a higher, a higher force. Okay. So this is huge. This is going to be a huge week for somebody. All right. Spirit. Why is this um, creative power here? All right, I think I'm getting called to use my feminine deck. Matter of fact, this deck. Spirit, what is this creative power here? What is my collective? It's like it's like gaining you the bag, but not only this pinnacle. The pinnacle is prosperity. It's everything that you materialize here on earth. Your love life, your children, your finances, your legacy. You breaking generational curses. It's like, this is a change. There's a card here. And it's not supposed to be in this motherfucking deck. Wow. And it's from, you know what's so crazy? It's from the deck that I was going to pull. Wow. Wow. Somebody. It's either, all right, this could go both ways. This could go somebody is really feeling thrilled about a relationship where they gain some type of silent wisdom, where they got respect for a lot of shit right now and they going through a change. Or this is you coming into loving partnerships where people are going to want to work with you, whether it's relation, romantic or not. Y'all, y'all just stepping into a season of a lot of creative partnerships. Whether it's a workplace, this is going to, be creative where you're going to be the star. If this is something that you're working on on your own, you are, you know, an authority of this. Um, if this is a relationship, this person finds you really, really creative. And whatever this is, you're coming into union with loving partnerships. I'm hearing your soul family, your tribe collectives, your tribe. Whoever you're coming into contact with, this is not some somebody that you got to learn from, like, in a negative way. This is somebody that you're going to bounce ideas off of one another. Like, y'all going to be utilizing each other as resources, all right? So, I think this is bigger than uh, just love. I think this is just... You're coming into a cycle of creative partnerships, period. All right, so. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my cards right. All right, so let's see why this two of cups here and it's creative power. All right, something creative between two people, two souls is happening. All right, um. And it, I just feel like it's divinely got it. Oh my gosh. It is two souls coming together. You definitely could be a fire sign coming together with a water sign. Or you just balance out. Somebody is coming 
You guys are coming together to balance out your 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 masculine and your feminine energies. Your ability to take action and your ability to have patience. Okay? You you guys, whoever you guys, this is a season of partnerships where you're going to be completely balanced. You're not going to have to do too much and you're going to know when to react. It's, it's going to be completely balanced with creativity. Y'all both are going to be passionate about this. Y'all both going to have the same uh, emotional attachment to it. So it's going to work. All right. What is this silent wisdom spirit? And I feel like whatever y'all working on, whether it's you coming into collaboration with somebody, is silent. All right. And y'all gaining so much silent wisdom when it comes to not speaking about your manifestations before it comes to fruition oh wow see somebody is getting out of self-sabotaging themselves somebody is getting out of anxiety and they're tempering their energy because they are being silent about what they have learned they are being silent they are no more explaining themselves you know it's like i know what i know and that's it i don't have to explain myself all right there's a lot of wisdom that has been um, taught and learned. All right. What is this pentacle for? This is like a huge, like, this is just comfortability when it comes to everything on earth. Okay. Oh, the devil is not attached to it no more. So whether it was a relationship, whether it was your finances, whether it was just your career, whether it was just a karmic cycle that was a curse. Baby, you are free, okay? Some of you guys prayed. Some of you guys practiced this, and this is just a whole new ball game. Some of you guys prayed for a relationship. It doesn't matter. You have been respected by the divine because you showed respect to what you value. Thank you, spirit, here on earth, 1222. And you have defeated a curse that was on everything that you was meant to enjoy here on earth. I mean, you are, you've done it, all right? And whatever collaboration this is, it's going to be a huge change. You're, you're, you're getting out of a dark time, guys, okay? So what is this balance? Wow. Somebody had to learn balance between what was good for them and what they loved. They had to learn balance between, you know, being too emotionally attached to things that was supposed to only be there for a season. Um, this Five of Cups uh, is somebody that is getting over a loss or grieving um, a heartbreak, okay? Why is this Five of Cups here? Damn. It's another car here. That's not a part of the deck. Oh, my gosh. It's wish fulfillment. It's wish fulfillment. So it's either this person is coming out of a dark time and you was waiting for them the whole time. This is somebody collective. You are already in your nine of cups energy. And I feel like with this intensification, the, the energy is intensifying because you know this person is coming or you know these collaborations are coming or you know your soul family is here. You have been through so many things, so many ups and downs, but your wins were big and small. And you have... You know, showed yourself, you know, gratitude for for your achievements, whether they was big or small. You're very comfortable where you're at. You're very comfortable sitting at your own table for now. All right. Your very your future is very secure. And you really hone in the power. And I feel like you may be just waiting for this to happen. All right. What is this prosperity rate? The car fell on the floor. Oh, prosperity is waiting to happen. And some of you, you guys, you guys are coming into union. For some of you guys, you're owning your own establishment. Um, For others of you guys, you're tying a knot. For others guys, you're having children. But you're just stepping into a season where these commitments, you're creating a solid foundation. You hear me? Where prosperity is just all over this foundation. Whatever you're building, it's strong. And if, these, if, if, if this is two people, it's strong. Oh my gosh, you have the sign. It's like unstoppable. This was written in your Akashic Records. All right? This is like, and you guys are in your North Node. Wow. 
What is this fire sign or fire? Some of passion. Yes, they are passionate about reuniting. They are passionate about celebrating. You are passionate about this, whatever. This is a whole lot of enjoyment, happiness, um, partying, uh, weddings, baby showers, christenings. Just celebrating life, y'all. Spirit, why is this pinnacle here with the devil in reverse? Y'all broke free from a family curse. Y'all broke free from a generational curse, y'all. Wow. Y'all been waiting for this to happen. Y'all been waiting probably for seven months, seven years, seven weeks, seven days. Y'all been waiting for this to happen. Now y'all get to collect. Now y'all get y'all rewards. Now y'all get to reap y'all rewards. Wow. Wow. Give me one more card, spirit. Damn, y'all. Wow, look. Somebody's been working day and night, night and day, putting all their time effort into something. Okay? And the biggest karmic lesson from this reading is this is a karmic completion. You guys may have been hurt, but you see things finally for what it is. The veil has been lifted. So whether you had a karmic relationship that, you know, continued to keep a veil over you and you couldn't manifest your job, that's completely done. You, your, your, your manifestations will work. It's taken off. All right, even if it's just working on anything, working on a new commit, anything, you, you don't have any blockages no more. You know, again, this is a tough road that you have ended. All right, you have ended a major cycle and now you have your own mind. So again, guys, this is amazing. All right, yeah, this is a king of wands. This is a fire sign. This is a fire. Oh, this is a fire sign coming together. And you know, I just feel like Devon Feminine, being that this masculine is very fired up about you, you know, he's ready, okay, to make that long-term commitment. I feel like you've been waiting, like you, you, you is getting your shit together. Like, I feel like you did something creative where you are stepping out of the box where something is about to be birthed, you know, like to the world and you like, well, this this is what I envisioned. You know, you didn't envision anything less. You didn't envision yourself in a karmic relationship. You didn't settle. All right? You didn't settle. Ooh. You got a king of cups. This man grew. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope this helps for tonight. This is amazing energy. Keep this up. Y'all yeah, literally defeated a, 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 a curse. A, a generational curse. All right? So... I love you.